All right, welcome back. So we are on the assessment level and the way that this works as always is I will read the directions. We will talk about any tips or tricks. Um, I'll look at the rubric with you and then I'm going to release you to ace this. So it says swimming right and left. The code below should make this fish start moving right once you press the right arrow and then it should continually swim back and forth. You should use conditional statements and the velocity block to make the fish swim. So do this. Look at the three conditional statements inside the draw loop. Use A, the correct block inside each conditional statement to make the three following movements. If the user presses the right arrow key, move the fish to the right. If the fish gets to the right hand of the screen, move the fish to the left. If the fish gets to the left hand of the screen, move the fish to the right. The fish should always be facing the same direction that it's moving, so you will also need to update the fish's animation inside each of the conditional statements. Easy. You, you've done all of this already in the previous levels. Um, I absolutely have faith for you. And do you see right here, line 6, line 8, line 13, line 18, line 23, line 24. All of these are comments in the code that will help you to put what needs to be put and where it needs to be put. All right. So um, use the comments, make sure you're following along through the code as you go. And then let's go look at the rubric. All right. So uh, no evidence means you didn't do it. So the fish just moves right across the screen and disappears. So it will look like this or it will just go boom. Limited evidence. All right. Uh, the fish swims to the right side of the screen, turns and swims to the left side of the screen but does not repeat. So it goes one way, it goes the other way, and then it stops. The student only changes velocity by using the provided first conditional statement. Convincing evidence. The fish swims to the right of the, sorry, the, the fish swims to the right side of the screen, turns and swims to the left side of the screen, but perhaps does not face the right direction while moving. The counter pattern is not used. So this is almost perfect, but not quite because the fish needs to change directions which means you need to go into the animation tab and use the right animation. All right. And then extensive evidence. This is what gets you the hundred. This is what gets you the gold star. So the fish swims to the right side of the screen, turns and swims to the left side of the screen, then repeats. The sprite appears to face the appropriate direction at all times. And there are no extra blocks in the program and the counter pattern is not used. All right. So it's not just using what you already know it's using the correct blocks that we're asking you to use. All right. Um, so with that, I'm going to let you do this and ace this, and I will catch you on the other side as we tackle the challenges. All right. Good luck. All right. Welcome back. So before we move on to the challenges, um, I'm going to show you what your code should look like. I'm not going to show you the code because that would be giving away the assignment, but I'm going to show you what the animation should look like. If you press run, the fish is in the middle. And then if you click on the right button, this is what I should see happening in order to make the hundred. All right. So back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So as long as you've got that, you should be good to go. All right. Okay.